Hello, my name is Jay, and welcome back to my Tech Vault. And today we're going to be talking about the most annoying and the most tedious, uh, in my personal opinion, the least fun uh, activities or parts of building a computer. Um, so that's basically what we're going to go over today. Um, to start off, some of the best parts I definitely would say is installing your graphics cards as that is A, very easy, um, same for RAM and also most CPU coolers. While some CPU coolers can be quite difficult, um, those are things that are quite easy to install and I really appreciate how they've come to a, a, a standard um, and B, something that's not that difficult to install. Anyone can install it, makes it pretty much easy for absolutely everyone. Um, same goes for the <clears throat> most of the connectors, um, like SATA connectors and stuff, they're really easy to connect um, and they're pretty self-explanatory there as well. Now number one on this list, and number one on this list for a good reason, is the I.O. connectors. Now I'm going to go off on a little tangent about I really, really think this needs to become, uh, have like some sort of standard implemented because the I.O., current I.O. situation, every motherboard has their own special um, I.O. configuration and they, like some companies, I believe like Asus or whatever, has the uh, little connector that you plug stuff in there and then you plug it in your motherboard and that's like 10 times better than just plugging stuff in individually. Um, but still, I think a standard would be great because then everyone would know, you can, no matter where you looked up online, this is, the, this is where the um, power switch is, this is where the um, hard drive LED, this is where the reset switch is, and it wouldn't actually ever be any doubt. Because uh, right now I spend probably about on a on a build, um, maybe 15 out of the two hours, 15 minutes out of the two hours that I spend usually on average for actually an hour and a half now. But basically, 15 out of the hour and a half that I spend building a computer um, is dedicated to me trying to figure out what is a what the configuration is, b looking it up online or whatever, and then c trying to mess around with it and plug it in for a good bit. Um, that's quite annoying. Now, some of the other things that I definitely think <clears throat> are a little annoying and I've had issues with in the past is that some, I'm not going to say all, but some uh, power supply manufacturers don't include a long enough um, CPU cord. Uh, what I mean by that is the CPU um, power um, pin is not long enough to reach up to the top. Um, and for some people, that's an annoyance. For me, it's happened on a couple occasions. Um, especially when the power connector is like, you don't want to route it through the front and going back to the dedicated spot that it's supposed to be in seems a lot more cable management friendly, only they don't want to include that long of a cord because that costs too much money. That would be one of the other annoyances that I would have. Now, cable management for me is something that I'm not too fond of. You can look behind me. Um, but in, in any build, it's quite important. And honestly, some people will preference, you know, like doing, or they prefer to do cable management over everything else. And so honestly, that's my personal opinion. Um, I do find cable management is a little bit more tedious because you have to try multiple configurations of wires before they look nice. Um, you also have to be a little bit plan ahead, um, especially when you're going through and trying to plan where everything should be formatted and laid out. Now, for things like custom loops, um, I find that a little bit more fun because you really get to plan it out. You're doing a lot more of you know planning, working, testing, um, and I find that a little bit more fun because you're actually making something rather than you know just plugging stuff in. I figure that anybody can plug stuff in, but a custom loop is also kind of cool. So I consider that more fun on the uh, list of things. Um, another annoyance is a actually two more annoyances. Number one, um, one of the big one big one is case manufacturers who don't include um, the ATX standard um, pins or standoffs on the motherboard. Instead, they're all put in like mini ATX or something. I mean, if you have an ATX case, it's probably going to be an ATX motherboard. Don't make the mini ATX put, or don't put the standoffs in mini ATX position because most people are going to have to remove that and switch it around. And finally, um, another annoyance is when you're going through and you're trying to format a case. So for example, um, a case that has, you know, advertises a lot of features like, you know, hey, and I'm not trying to hate on case manufacturers, this is everyone that does it. Um, but in particular, like I did a review of one of the um, Be Quiet cases or whatever, and it advertised, you know, having a 
capability to be a test bench and having the capability to switch around. And to be quite honest, you had to watch an hour and a half video from them to figure out how to rotate the whole case orientation. Just watch, that was just watching, that wasn't following along. I would guesstimate that there's probably, a, probably an hour, maybe like two hours to three hours would be how long it would be to completely reorganize that. And that's basically standing for the fact that if you wanted to customize your case, most case manufacturers advertise support, but in reality, it takes a huge amount of time to go through and actually fix the case up how you like and what they advertise. So instead, one of the things they could do is, of course, make it so that there would be a little bit more pull to release or make it so that it's you know something you just take out, rotate around, and you know put back in rather than having to take this out and then this out and then this out and then you know put this around. Yeah, it's just it's quite confusing and it's an annoyance I'm sure for everybody um, that's out there that wants to get something very particular, um, especially when the case ma uh, advertises it. And in reality, it's quite difficult. Um, so thank you very much for watching. That has been the most annoyance, biggest annoyances. Uh, that I have encountered during PC building. Of course, feel free to put yours down in the comments below. Um, share out the channel for other cool tech related news, reviews, builds, etc. And we got a couple goodies coming up, so uh, subscribe if you're interested. Otherwise, have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.